Okay, in the last video I covered how to configure your console connection to your router and also how to configure virtual terminal access to your router through Telnet. So let's build off of that. So I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to click on the terminal and the default settings are perfect and so what I can do is click that and it lets me into a console session into my router and normally you'd see this screen right here. I was just in there. So I press return to get started and I have to provide a password and now I'm into the user mode of my router, right? Um, to get to a privileged mode all I have to do is type enable and it drops me into privileged mode. Now Cisco offers a way of making privileged mode have its own password to kind of enhance different layers of security within the router and so that's what I'm going to talk about right now. So we're going to uh, improve the security on the router slightly. Cisco offers really advanced ways of securing your router but we cover just the basics uh, pretty much in right now where we're at in the curriculum. So if we want to set up a password to get into privileged mode, what we're going to do is we're going to go to global config mode first. So I'll say conf, which is short for configure, and then t, which is short for terminal, and that gets me into global config mode. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say enable password, and I'm going to say Cisco. So I'm just using um, simple passwords. Normally Cisco would, um, not just Cisco, but um, good protocol, security protocol would, would mandate that I choose passwords of eight characters or more in length, um, a variety of uh, letters, alphanumeric letters, capital letters, lowercase letters, special characters, and numbers. But just for this tutorial, Cisco's fine. So enable password Cisco. I'll hit enter, then I'm going to type in exit, hit enter, and then I'm going to do a copy run start, which is short for copy running dash config space startup dash config, and save my configuration. All right, now if I exit out of this mode and I type in Cisco to log into the router and I try to type enable, it requires a password. So now I have to provide the password. Well, I made the password also Cisco, so I'll type that in. And now I'm at privileged user mode. If I do a show run, which is short for show running dash configuration, I can see that my enable password is Cisco. So um, the enable, the ability to get to privileged mode, the password is seen in the configuration file in just clear text or plain text. We can improve upon that by making that this password, the enable password, encrypted on the configuration file. And to do that, I'll show you how to do that. First of all, I'm going to go into I'm going to go into global config mode and I'll type no enable password no enable password to get rid of Oops, and I put an extra S in there. No enable password to get rid of the enable password of Cisco. And instead of uh, using an enable password, what I'm going to type in here is enable secret, which instead of just a password, it's going to be a secret password, which means it'll be encrypted. So enable secret, and then I'll type in Cisco. So I'll do that. And then once again, I'll type exit hit enter and then I will do a copy run start to save my configuration from running configuration to startup configuration hit enter and then enter again and now what I can do is, is I can type exit press enter to get started type in Cisco and now when I type enable it asks me for my password type in Cisco and if I do a show run for show running configuration, you can see now that my secret password, my enable password is secret. 
and it is encrypted with MD5 encryption and you can see here that this is the password encrypted so it adds a little more security um, by encrypting the privileged user mode password in the configuration file. If I hit more spacebar to hit more to look at the second screens here I've got my interfaces I'm going to um, hit my spacebar to see the next screen from my running configuration you'll see here at the bottom that my line console zero password is also shown just the regular user login in the configuration file is also shown in plain text uh, there it is in Cisco and then worse yet if someone was to get access to the configuration file you could see here that the remote password of Cisco is also shown in the configuration file just in in clear text in plain text so we can encrypt this so it's not shown also and I'll show you how to do that all I have to do to do that is type configure terminal to get into global config mode and I'm gonna type in service space pass password tab completion password dash encryption so the command is service space password dash encryption and I'll hit enter and now if I type in exit and I save the file I'll save it to startup configuration and now I'm going to exit now if I hit enter and I type in Cisco and then I type in enable and then I type in Cisco again now if I do a show run you'll see that my passwords are encrypted in um, in the configuration file so now you can see line console 0 password and you can see here that it's a basically a hash so that I, I can't see my passwords in plain text Another security measure that you should probably enact if you're an administrator in charge of networking devices like Cisco routers or switches is putting a banner message warning unauthorized users that um, there is no unauthorized access on your routers or switches and that you will take proper, um, that your company or your business will take proper measures to enforce that situation. So, um, what you could do is you could do configure terminal or conf t for short uh, configure terminal go into global config mode and set up a banner message to do that you type in banner alright and then you can put space and then a question mark and it tells you that there's a login banner and a message of the day banner so two different types of banners that you could do now if you wanted to do a login banner you would just type ty type uh, login let's see here let's do message of the day banner first so m o t d will be the um, the correct acronym for message of the day banner m o t d space and then a pound sign let's say and then type in whatever it is. No un, unauthorized access allowed. Okay. All users are monitored. Okay and then you're gonna end it with a let's say pound sign in this case and hit enter and now you have your your banner message of the day configured so let's go take a look at it so what we'll do is we will um, exit and we'll save it alright hit enter again we'll save that to configuration file and then we'll exit again and now we'll hit return to get started and you can see right off the top our banner message of the day says no unauthorized access allowed all users are monitored prior to login so this is a, a warning of some sorts that um, 
for the router. And so it's another aspect to security and it's recommended.